Hi everyone, Marine here for Land Fun. Thank you so much for joining me on this new video in which we are going to make a refreshing mojito to help us cool down during those hot summer days. So let's see which ingredients we are going to need to make this mojito. We have the build a drink die set, zesty lemon, the tropical leaves backdrop, the banner die from the Hard Garland portrait backdrop. My happy summer greeting is from Pool Party. I'm gonna use the tropical leaves background stencils, a paper from the flower market paper pack for the straw, a paper from the really rainbow scallops paper pack for the parasol, and another one from the Spiffy Speckles paper pack for the drink. So I'm starting with the background. I cut my tropical leaves panel out of Stratmore Bristol Smooth cardstock and I am using blue oxide inks to color it. I'm first applying salty ocean oxide ink all over the leaves. I am covering the whole backdrop to have a nice and even base. And next I am adding a little bit of prize ribbon oxide ink all along the four edges of the panel. And I am going to blend this darker blue into the light blue using my Salty Ocean blending tool again. Now let's poke all the bits and pieces out and let's add some texture to those leaves. I am starting with a mix of cheap sapphire oxide ink and water that I'm going to splatter all over the leaves using a small brush. And I am continuing with a mix of white ink and water that I'm splattering on the leaves as well. I am setting my tropical leaves backdrop aside and while it's drying, I am going to ink this five and a half by four and a quarter inches Bristol panel with a tumble glass oxide ink. This panel will be mostly covered and we won't see much of it, but still I wanted to have some decorations. So I am going to use the tropical leaves background stencils along with white ink to add a subtle decor to this panel. I taped the first stencil to my panel with washi tape at the back. I am adding a first coat of ink. I let the ink dry and then I add a second layer of ink and I am going to repeat the steps with the second stencil. So now that my panel is covered with white tropical leaves, I am going to dry and heat set the ink using my heat tool. And next I am going to assemble a few pieces to complete my background. So we have the blue tropical leaves backdrop, the white stencil leaves panel, and I knew that there would be a lot of green with all the leaves and limes, and I wanted to bring a touch of green in the background as well. So I cut another tropical leaves backdrop out of green shimmery cardstock. I am going to stick the green backdrop on the panel first and I'm using one millimeter from squares to bring dimension. And then the blue backdrop on top using from squares as well. And here we go, the background is all done. So we can move on and start working on the mojito. I cut the glass piece that goes on the front out of white shimmery cardstock and I cut more to create dimension. I also cut a green piece to make the drink itself 
and I have a piece of acetate on the left. So first thing first, I am going to stick the white shimmery glass on the acetate using liquid glue. I trimmed around it off screen and next I am going to create room for my shaker accessories. I want to put those tiny ice cubes inside my glass and as you can see they are quite thick. So I'm gonna need many glass pieces to create dimension. But unfortunately I lost the footage of that part of the process. But basically I ended up gluing 9 glass pieces to have enough height to be able to put the ice cubes inside the glass. And while the glue between all these layers is drying, here on the left, I am going to add a little bit of ink to those mint leaves. I am using Maudlon and Rustic Wilderness Oxidings and I am going to do the same on the drink piece. Now the glass seems to be dry and here you can see the dimension with all the layers. So I'm gonna add a few ice cubes, some mint leaves and a few spoons of iridescent confetti as well. And we can close the glass. I am sticking the drink piece at the back of the glass using liquid glue. And our mojito is all done, super cute. And now before putting it on the card, we are going to create and assemble some limes, leaves and flowers. These will go on each side of the glass. And just like the mint leaves, I added a little bit of shades using Maudlon and the Rustic Wilderness Oxidings again. So all the pieces are assembled. I also cut the straw and did the parasol. We have some vellum ice cubes. And off screen, I white hit embossed my happy summer greeting on a black licorice banner. So we have everything we need. We can attach all the elements on the tropical leaves panel. I am using two millimeter and one millimeter from squares mostly and liquid glue as well.
And that's it, all done. I really love how it turned out with this mix of green and blue. It's very summery. And I hope that you like it. Thank you so much for stopping by and for watching this video. Have an amazing day and see you in the next one. Bye.